Welcome. The advent of high-resolution 3D scanning completes the circle of CAD and casting, allowing us to import real items into the CAD world to be worked on, um, improved, or just digitized for the sake of archiving. The scanning process requires a 3D scanner, as in the image in the video in front of you. The part gets mounted into it and a structured light gets displayed over the part. The structured light is then measured by the computer for surface distortions and those distortions are saved as a model. So this is done in many, many passes, as many as 30 to 40 different passes over an item depending on how complex it is. That point cloud is passed to a computer where it will all get joined up into one single mesh. Our CAD users will use the reference mesh to get the general size, complexity and design and then pre-allocate sizing for casting, cleanup, finishing and setting. It's an invaluable tool and allows us to complete the entire process in one pass. Once the finished CAD is produced, we can send it to a resin or a wax printer to produce the new article, where after the usual process of casting and finishing can happen to the component. Maximum size on the current scanner, roughly the size of a closed human fist, but you can scan in more than one pass, allowing us to scan in very large items like statues. The print process is very carefully QC checked to ensure that all the detail that was put into the CAD has come out during the print. Oftentimes this may require reorientation of the part or perhaps scaling of the CAD in different areas to allow for a component that will work well in print and also work well on the jeweler's workbench. The scan process is currently free for all our clients that use us for CAD and for casting and for our finishing clients.